Hi guys, welcome to In The Now. We are here with one of my most favorite people from Mabinogi, Anemki. Hey, what's up? And I say... literally did finger guns. <laughs> you did finger guns? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you, oh my gosh. Uh, Absolutely. I, I will say, I'm super excited to do this one, not only because it's the first of the In The Now series, which is pretty much Twilight time, but with people from Mari and Ruari. Which are from uh, Mari, right? Yes. Okay, just, just I mean, making sure. <laughs> if I remember so correctly. On screen. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, how <laughs> awkward. Uh, <laughs> shit. Um, anyway. Yeah, this is, this is turning out as a very awkward start. Uh, but, let's get into the questions. <laughs> it's okay, I actually really love the awkwardness. Uh, it, well, it's because I haven't done um, I haven't done any interviews for like a month or so, so I just gotta get back into it. I hope you all understand. <laughs> it's, it's kind of actually exciting that I'm the first for the the Nao or now I just pronounce it Nao, but actually, it's kind of exciting. I, I will say uh, actually before we get into into the questions, um, so. Pretty much within the now, the difference with Tarlatch time is that I'm going to be doing not only Tarlatch people, but uh, Mari and Ruari. So, Anemki is going to be the first of the series, but she's also going to be the first of Mari. And then next time I'm going to try to get someone from Ruari. And then after that will be another Tarlatch person. But I'm, I'm going to try to, to balance it out. But yeah, <laughs> that's the difference. Yeah, that's so, fair. Yeah. yeah, it's really exciting, because then I get to meet new people that I haven't seen before, and so will other people, or well, they'll get to hear them, and know about them. Yeah, that's so, pretty yeah. cool. Let, let's finally get into the questions. <laughs> 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 we right. could go on forever, we've known each other for a long time. Um, so the first question, as per usual, will be, how long have you been okay. playing? Um, okay, I don't even know why I'm saying, um, huh. Uh, I joined in 2010. Mm -hmm. And it's been pretty consistent. I've been telling myself for a couple times. I know about four or five years ago, I thought I was going to quit and I was about 14k. And I'm like, yeah, I just want to quit this game and content where I am. But I enjoy it too much, I guess. And around the time I was going to quit, that's when Larry had joined. And oh, I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'm not quitting. Aww. And I continued to play for another four years. So Why don't you... Give them a heads up. Who is Larry? <laughs> oh, um, he is the boyfriend, and he in game is Queen Leona. Wait, which is amusing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's. Hang on. I can't even see my screen. Is that? Um, it's not related to Mabinogi. Um, he used to play League of Legends before this, so he picked uh... the name Leona because it would mean it's her. So, yeah. oh, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, oh, fireworks. I just put in random letters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, he uh, he joined without telling me, actually. One day he came over to the house. Uh, we went to high school together, and mm -hmm. four years after we graduated, we ran into each other at the store. And all of the feelings from high school came back because we kind of had a crush on each other. Aww, but that's really cute. Yeah, it is, it's super cute. But... We didn't actually date, but we stayed friends, so it's okay. So after graduation, I did my thing, he did his, mm -hmm. and we saw each other four years later at the store and caught up with each other, exchanged numbers, and one day he came over to the house and he's like, so, are you going to show me that game that you play that you like so much? So I said, sure. Mm -hmm. So he watched me get my butt kicked by Crystal Golems and Scathatch <laughs> and seemed like he enjoyed the game. And I guess I went to work a couple days later and I got a text message from him asking me, hey, how do I add friends? Aww. So, wait, It's just little what? things like that. <laughs> yeah, so I had no idea that he joined. He didn't even tell me that he was going to sign up. And I go home and Skype call him to help him, you know, through the game. And mm -hmm. I'm like, who the heck is Queen Leona? And he's like, that's me. <laughs> You're a girl? So... 
but it was okay because it made it super easy to help him because I had a full functional Habana set and a Trinity set. Oh, yeah. and it was good for him because he likes to make like likes to main his mage or mages or clerics and stuff like that. So yeah, that worked is, out pretty good. Yeah, that works out really well then. Mm hmm. Okay. So, so yeah, that, that pretty much kept me playing. That actually reminds me, um, what we were talking about yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. So you've met a couple people uh, in real life from Mabinogi. Yeah, actually. Um, uh, let me think. I met a couple people. The first person that I met, actually, maybe I may not consider from Mabinogi, but we have played together. Um, my friend Nick, uh, he actually recruited me to the game nine years ago. Okay. And he said, yeah, he, he suggested I play the game and he couldn't recover his old account. So he made a new one with me. And we met in real life, hung out for about two weeks. That was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, we still talk today, but he doesn't play anymore, unfortunately, but we still reminisce about the game and he still talks to me about it. He just doesn't play anymore. He's got other stuff going on. Yeah. I met another friend of mine, his IGN was Zayden, and we hung out twice. That was a lot of fun. He visited from Georgia, so that was pretty cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's pretty distant from here. Yeah. And then another one of my friends, uh, his IGN is Fleur, and he lives about two, three hours away from where Larry and I do, oh, and okay. he came up and hung out once. And he was here for like a whole day. He got here at three in the morning. We went to Denny's and then watched a movie. <laughs> yeah. Slept in really late, uh. hung out in town, got some sushi. It was pretty fun. And then he went home because I had to work the next day. So it was kind of a bum, but it's okay. Cause met a couple people on Mavi and it was super exciting. Yeah. And I mean, even and the shortest times are, are a lot of fun, right? Yeah. And we even took selfies together. The three of us went to GameStop because we were just <laughs> meandering around. And we took some pictures together at GameStop. We took some pictures together with Silly String all over us. So it was pretty Aww. cool. It was yeah, a fun time. Yeah, that sounds time. like a really fun time. I wish I had that kind of experience. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd love to meet more people on Mavi. It's so crazy. Like, the people that I've known for almost 10 years on his game, I would love to just invite over and just have this big, like, banquet or something with all of them. You know. Oh, oh, that that sounds really cool. And then just have a prize <laughs> at the yeah. end. Yeah, or like a raffle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, it'd be so cool. Like the people that I've known for so many years, and I haven't met them yet. I, we've even had intentions to go to um, go to visit our friend Tayonaku. Um, oh, okay. Like maybe one time, if the boyfriend has time off, we'd go. We would love to go visit her sometime. Just because we've been friends for so long. I met Teo in my first guild a long time ago, and we've stayed friends, you know, ever since. Mm -hmm. And it would it would just be great to get out and just visit a different state and visit her sometime. Oh, so. that, that sounds really, really cool then. Yeah, it's awesome. Like, it's cool that um, being on Mabinogi, it's been great because... You get to meet all of these different people from all these different states, from all these different countries now, because we got the European section yeah. of it as well. And yeah, when I was younger, it kind of made me socially inept because I was picked on a lot when I was in school. So I went to the game and yeah. it kind of made me a little social, you know, socially awkward. I had anxiety. I didn't really know how to talk to people in person, yeah. but I had a comfort zone because people got to know you here for who you are, not what you are, what you look like, that sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. But over time, you know, getting out in the, real, in the real world and everything, getting a job, I'm just like, you know, people are afraid of you just as much as you are as them, you know. Everybody yeah. has feelings. Everybody is scared and anxious. So treat everybody on Mabby and in person with respect and how you want to be treated, and everything should just go smoothly, yeah. you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what? I don't need. I feel like I don't even need to ask you for your your end advice. Usually, I'll ask people like, uh, if they have any advice to give at the end of an interview. But that's, I feel like that's good advice in its own. Yeah, honestly. Um, yeah. I mean, if there's other questions that you want to do, like in between, like that, and advice 
stuff. That's fine too. Like I'll still yeah, yeah. give something, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Um, I'm actually going to go into one of my most common questions. What is your favorite color? Okay. Um, well, through the years, obviously it's been teal. Um, I would use teal on pretty much everything as far as like random toys, clothes, yeah, it wasn't heck, like even a, in real life. Uh, teal with brown, I think, and white? Yeah, something? um, I don't know if I have anything on me currently with that color on it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, this does, actually. But, oh, okay. Um, yeah, for the longest time I wore teal, black, and white, and I kind of got bored of that because, I don't know, black and white sort of took away from the detail. Yeah. And I wanted to try some new stuff. So I went from doing black and white to sort of like brown, hazel, gold, different earth tones that looked really nice with it as well. Yeah. And then shortly after that, um, the dress I had on, I can't even find it in my inventory right now. <laughs> you <laughs> you just, just had it on and now you gone. can't find it. <laughs> yeah, because I switched it with my langu. Um I tried to dye some stuff that was more natural colors. Mm -hmm. Like the dress I had on, I have an actual dress in real life that's like an an olive color with oh, okay. pink and orange flowers. Oh, so I thought that does sound really pretty. Yeah, so like naturally nobody really has their entire wardrobe in real life that is all one color. You know, everything's yeah. different. <laughs> yeah, so, I will agree to that. <laughs> Yeah, so I thought, why not just go through and dye all my clothes, like, different colors? Oh, you know? okay. Were there any other games that you play or played uh, before? Uh, besides Mabinogi, I mean. <laughs> um, before Mabinogi, back in 2004. Mm -hmm. um, Whoa, 2004. Where, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was really young. Um, I played this game called There. It was like T theory, and oh, wow. yeah, good. yeah, it's really old. Um, the same. I'm assuming that the same graphic designers that did this game did the original, like the first few Tomb Raider games. If you would like <laughs> compare the graphics, yeah, yeah, oh, wow. like Lara Croft style stuff. So it was pretty basic. It wasn't much like Mabinogi. Like yeah, you could, you know, design your clothing. You could wear different stuff. Um, you could change your height. Um, your weight and everything, your weight, your facial structure, all that kind of stuff. Um, there were sort of skills, like on your profile, you had different skill sets like avid, novice, renowned, legendary, of like paintballing, buggy driving, hoverboarding, card Jeez. playing. Yeah, it was really cool. So it was more of a social game than it was a game for content, like with dungeons and shadow yeah. missions and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But it still had the social aspect and the designing and everything. You could have your own character and everything. Yeah. And do what you want. So it's pretty similar. But I feel like Mabinoki is way more advanced than that was. Um, I stopped playing that game because it went down. Uh, what happened is that the developers started jacking up the prices in their cash shop. And a lot of the older players didn't want to pay their prices. They're like, this is absurd. We've been here for a long time. Why should we pay this? So the game got shut down because they didn't have enough revenue coming in from the players. Uh, and after the game came back up a few years ago, they forced it to be a monthly payment instead of a single payment for premium membership. So you got to pay monthly on it. And it's just, it's not the same as it was. So. That reminds me of this, this browser game. It was also a social game that I used to play. It was called AWOL Now. I've never heard of it. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> what is your favorite animal? Obviously, I'd say a cat. Like, anything that is a cat. Really. Yeah, yeah. I've noticed all these years knowing you, it's always been cats. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's ridiculous. I remember all, um, of the, all of the pictures that you would upload during the years of, like, your cats that you've always had. Mm-hmm. Or, like... Yeah. On Facebook, you would share a lot of things about cats. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, it's pretty crazy. Um, in the past couple of years, I want to say year or two, there's been about 14 of them within my life. Oh, my gosh. 
Yeah, but like just taking care of litters and getting them adopted or stray cats. Aww. But right now it's just the three in the house. Oh, I mean, yeah, three yeah. three is a good amount. I would say fourteen. Um. <laughs> I mean, if I had like a a home that had fifty rooms in it, I wouldn't pass yeah. up the, you know pass up the opportunity. But <laughs> you, I guess I think we have to be uh, ready to call your place a cat sanctuary then. Oh yeah. Most definitely, and I wouldn't mind it at all. What is your favorite talent in the game? Oh, um, that's a toss-up, actually. Uh, if there's, I guess, like, two or something, I mean, that's fine too. You can just tell me which ones you like. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, when the game started out, there was just like what it was magic archery and combat. I guess, like, just warrior. Yeah, so yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I start for for years. I was like strictly warrior style, like for years, because mm -hmm. it was just easy. It was simple. I liked being, you know, in your face, close combat. You know, hacking and slashing. It was simple. It was easy to use, and I was content with it. You know, yeah. obviously, there's talents that, you know, are way better than that as far as the damage scaling goes and the power creep and all that kind of stuff. So for years I stuck with that, and a couple of years, what? I don't even know how long Chain Slasher's been out. But <laughs> once if, Chain if Slasher came guess, out, if I were to guess, I'm gonna say like a year and a half or something. I don't know. That's what it feels like. Let me see. Chain Slasher, I have no idea. Um, but around that time when it came out. Um, I was still pretty bent on, you know, my Langu, my Celtic Swords, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I tested out Ninja for a little bit because Ninja is really fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, definitely. That was my go-to oh, yeah, for a long time, too. Yeah. So it's fun. And for the longest time, I wanted a Celtic throwing star. Ooh. But after the Chain Slasher stuff came out, I got really into it. And the boyfriend was super stoked about it because he wanted me to try something different for a change. Mm -hmm. And I'll still go back and forth between, you know, warrior. Occasionally, I'll use alchemy, oh, but mm -hmm. my go-to is definitely chain slasher. So, but I mean, talents aside, one of my favorite things to do is like exploring. Yeah. Um, I got really into just exploration, taming, all that kind of stuff. So, like, if I can just go out of my way when transformation master came out where we had to go exploring all these dungeons and all these all the wilderness and all these lands to get transforms i loved it like there's somebody out there that like needs help and is like hey i need help doing this dungeon or fighting these monsters for transforms i'm all about that because <laughs> it's just it's just reliving all of this content that you did you know as a newbie or just had to do all these dungeons and all of a sudden you gotta redo it for transforms yeah exactly i'm all about it it's yeah. so much fun. If someone were to come up to me and say, like, hey, can you help me find this transformation? I'd be like, yes! Immediately! Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. And it's like, I almost know where everything is, too. Exactly. And then, even if not, I mean, there's the wiki. <laughs> I know, it's super helpful. We should, like, we, should, we should tell the people about the wiki. Please help with the wiki. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, I just did today. I ran into this guy in Vales, and he was trying to figure out help with uh, G23. He said he had no idea what to give Karen, and I'm like, well, you're being very vague about it, and there is the wiki. There's complete walkthroughs for all of the generations on there. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah, if, if people don't know simple. already, um, I used to work on... I used to, like, I would volunteer to work on the wiki a long time ago for a couple years, and Anemke's been still doing it, sort of. Wait, yes, right? You still yeah, <laughs> yeah kind not of. Not really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> once in a while, if I find something to add there, I'll add something, or I'll upload yeah. some minor pictures of things. Um, but what? I've tried to stay away from doing gotcha ponds and everything, because i got to save money. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much where we met, and that's where we got into contact, it was on the wiki, and, you know, we got to know each other through that, and talking about, you know, uh, things about the wiki. Yeah, I, now that I think about it, I feel like a couple of my friendships have been like this, actually, where I'm 90% sure that when we first met, we were a little catty at first, as oh, far really? as, like, oh, yeah, like, Wait, as far as, was I ever catty um, with you? 
<laughs> we may have been. We were so young, you know. Yeah, it was no, years I was. Ago. I think I was like 13, 14. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so years. like. I know. But hey, that's okay because that means there's growth. You know, yes. you learn from it. Definitely. But yeah, I'm like, I'm 90% sure that when we originally met, it was over like image policy or some stupid stuff where a photo had to be a certain way and we may or may not have been arguing over switching, you know, a photo back and forth and then they realized this is really stupid. But over time, we just became friends over it and I, I, we're I just there for each can, other. Uh, I, I hope you can't hear that. Um, <laughs> I have the window open and a helicopter just decided it was time to fly over the house, so I hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> No, I didn't hear it. I'm okay. honestly not not sure if you can hear the fan that's right up against my laptop. So no, I actually can't. So that <laughs> I mean, touche then. Well, that's good. Then no, I did not hear the helicopter that decided to storm over. <laughs> All right. Um. So since we're hitting, I, I usually uh, for people who don't know, I usually like to keep the videos around uh around the twenty minute mark. We're actually going over. Uh. <laughs> so, I, I guess this is where I say the last question is is it's it's time. <laughs> okay. So, dun, dun, dun. is there any extra advice? Since you already gave some advice, is there any extra advice you'd like to give, or or anything extra about yourself that you want people to know about you? Um, maybe not so much about myself that I can really think of, like. It's okay. Honestly, if people want to know, they'll probably watch the video or contact me or something. And I don't mind getting to know people or making new friends. Like, it's what I'm all about. Yeah, I feel like but, I didn't um, get to ask enough this time. Which, you know, I don't usually feel like that. But I feel like I didn't. Oh, it's okay. And, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to know more about her, then, yeah, contact her. Because she's, she's really nice, I promise. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I'm, I was that person on Mari server for the longest time that would open up those parties that would say, you're really cute today. And Oh, really? It was Oh, yeah. I did it all the time. And while there were plenty of people that were super nice about it and would either say thank you and stuff like that or that it made their day better because you don't know if somebody's having a good day or a bad day or a bad week or something. So, yeah. like, I genuinely did it for people that needed that little bit of sunshine or that little bit of kindness. I would get notes sometimes that people would literally tell me to shut up or that it was annoying what? or to take my party down. Yeah, it was weird. And I'm like, well, look, I'm sorry that my random act of kindness has made you salty or upset, but I'm just going to continue to be a kind person. But yeah. I did it for those people that would log in and would need that little bit more of kindness, you know, because you don't know, you know, you don't know if somebody's having a bad day. Yeah. But, you know, that's just how it is. Like, I don't mind meeting new people or, or anything. But I guess one of my things I really like to tell people, because I've run into other players while I'm training, while I'm killing things, and they're like, hey, you know, that's a really bad way to train your skills, or you should be doing it like this, or you should be playing the game like this. Ugh. Don't listen mm. to anybody else. <laughs> like, play the game how you want to play it. Set your own goals. Set your own expectations. Because there's always going to be that player that's going to be stronger, or they're going to be an elitist, and they're going to say, you shouldn't be playing the game this way. Mm -hmm. The game is all about possibilities and everything that you can do. It is your fantasy life. And it's literally what the game is called. Yeah. So just play it how you want to play it and do what you want to do. Because, you know, it's not fun if you live to somebody else's expectations. It's not. That's, that's so, very well said. Very, very yeah, well man, said. Yeah, man. Just, like... <laughs> At this point, like, I've done so much, and there's not a whole lot for me to do. So I just continue to just have fun and enjoy the game and what it has to offer. And if I don't have anything to do, I usually try to go out of my way to help people and help people do their quests. But, yeah, just play the game at your pace and at your level, and you're going to have the most fun you're going to have. Because when somebody else tells you what to do, you're not having fun anymore. Mm -hmm. I agree. All right. So, uh, thank you for doing this with me. Yeah, absolutely. It was super fun, and I was super excited to finally get into a call with you after I don't know how many years. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's been, like, <laughs> I'm going to say, like, seven. <laughs> seven years or something. I don't know. 
I'm but, actually yeah. really curious because I wrote you a love letter. Like, I don't remember how long. Oh, it's on my wiki page, actually. Um, is that a love right letter? I, I don't know. It's more like... I remember it was like, uh, hey, it's Secrets, which, I mean, that used to be my name to the people who don't know. Uh, Secrets, big sister, here to say, don't mess with my sis, that kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, I kind of just wanted to, wanted to call it a love letter just because I'm being a dork. <laughs> it was but... really sweet, and I, it's still there. It's still there, I promise. It probably is. Yeah. Um, they, it was they back in 2012. It. They can go read it if they if they know how to get to my uh, to my profile thing on the wiki. But <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. back in June of 2012, so seven years ago. Oh wait, well, was, I mean, I was guessing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and then you wrote me one too, but yours was um, I think it was also 2012. Yes, it was. We did. It I? was also 2012. Yep. Oh, that's so weird. I don't remember that. Yeah, because you put the little music box on it, the left hand music box. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna super check cute. it out after this. I forgot. <laughs> 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 oh. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you again. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Uh, I will see you all again in the now. Goodbye. Bye.